Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! We sold out in an hour. Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. It's been so long, I know. To be honest, my brain has been elsewhere. Like it's just been completely and fully dedicated to launching my brand, um, which I wanna share with you guys. Throughout this vlog, you'll see a little bit of how I prepped for my launch, but before we get into it, I want to explain the story of 64th Circle, which is my brand. There's so much to unpack with 64th Circle. 64th Circle is the street that I lived on in my late teen years until I moved out for the first time. It's also when my parents divorced. Um, I was just also going through a hard time in probably every area of my life. And those were some formative years for me. Every time I think back to 64th Circle, there is a bit of darkness around it, but I wanted to reincarnate it into something beautiful. You know, when my sense of home was broken, I went out into the world and kind of formed my own community. And community is really something I want to highlight with this brand, um, as well as just connection. I'm a deeply relational person, so all those things um, really matter. 64th Circle also just represents hope and resilience to me. So it's also reflective of the time I've been going through this past year. This past year has been quite a journey mentally for me and yeah, I just have been feeling really lost and I know you guys probably know this and have sensed it. I haven't really been myself and I'm trying to figure out what really brings me happiness and joy and it's really just the little things in life like ceramics or making a cup of matcha in the morning. So I wanted my brand to be kind of like an extension of me, but also something that can house all of my many hobbies and interests. 64 Circle really is just about coming together and feeling like it's okay to feel lost um, because we're all just trying to figure it out together, you know? So yeah, that's that's my brand, 64th Circle. All of the socials and site names are all 64th Circle written out. So please do give it a follow and check it out. This is why I tell all my friends about Blue Apron. The amount of time I sometimes spend on deciding what to eat can be a little ridiculous because I'm so indecisive. And it's exactly why I've been loving Blue Apron. I know it looks like I spent over 30 minutes making this pasta dish, but it only took me 20 minutes. Everything was delivered straight to my door in a box and all of the ingredients for each recipe are laid out for me. It makes cooking just so easy, so simple, and I never have to run to the grocery store, which saves me extra time. Plus the choices feel endless and it never gets boring because there are over 70 options to choose from each week. I always knew Blue Apron as the OG of meal kit services, and if you've been wanting to try it, now is the time. Because if you order before December 3rd, you'll get $200 off across six orders, plus your order ships free. The link to try Blue Apron will be down below in my description. I rearranged my office for like the hundredth time. Uh, so I do want to show you guys what I've been working on and what I'm up to lately. But first on the office, I don't even know if I ever showed you guys this shelving system that I put in. It's just the Boaxel shelving system from Ikea. I think they're normally used for closet systems, but I thought it would be a good addition to an office space. This desk back here is for editing and more admin stuff, more of the digital work. And then this desk over here was a desk I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. It's the exact same one as this one. Come on, get a little closer. This desk is my little ceramic station. To be honest, I haven't really been working here a lot. It's been more of like a storage space for my ceramics. So when it comes to hand building and glazing, you just want like big open tables to work on, like a workbench. But this just feels kind of cramped and I don't really want to work here a lot of the times, which is why I've rearranged this room so many times. But I feel like this flow feels 
a bit more open now. I have some of my glazes. These are our under glazes of the big glazes um, but again i like to glaze mostly at the studio that i'm a member at they just have all the tools all the equipments like the big glaze buckets and they have more colors i also just ordered a shipping label printer that's when you know it's getting real this is a batch of my little sardine cans um, i'm waiting for them to dry out these ones dried faster you can see that they're almost bone dry because of the color. They're like white compared to this one that's like brown. I just got in this little photo light box thing from Amazon. I'm setting it up right now and I want to use it to take pictures of my ceramics so I can use these as a product images for my website. We're gonna have a little sardine photo shoot. Pick. This is like a thick plastic material. I feel like it won't be easily damaged and scratched like paper, which is nice. Moment of truth. Mmm. Oh, I can make it brighter and then lighter. Oh, okay. I like this. This is like the most makeshift <laughs> photo shoot ever. There's a little peephole up at the top so I can take photos from this angle too. are doing amazing work it work it they're just so cute today is gonna be a very very busy studio day i'm going to try to make as many sardine cans as i can <laughs> this it's the life I choose but yeah I just want to have as much stock as possible before I launch my site even though I'm setting up like a pre-order system I think I want to kind of get the lift over with and then hopefully I'll be able to slow down a bit towards the holidays to tell you the truth I'm honestly looking forward to packing orders I feel like it would be really fun. I really enjoyed putting packages and mailers together when I was an intern. It's just kind of like mindless work that I like to do. I say this now and then probably later down the line I'm gonna be so sick of it, but for now I'm excited to pack orders. But I definitely need to learn how to do that first and find my flow. I've been using my office shower to store my boxes so far, so this is what it's looking like. Got a bunch of these small boxes. How cute. This one had a lot of good reviews on Amazon. The brand is called Munbin. This was also one of the more aesthetic looking ones, so obviously <laughs> that influenced my purchase decision. I know this one has wireless connectivity too, so that was important for me. Shipping labels. My tape came in. 
Uh, this is water activated tape. Because I didn't want to spend a lot on getting like fancy mailers and boxes that were branded, I thought a good middle ground was getting branded tape. My no cards came in also. For anyone that does place an order, I can write a handwritten note and include this. I'm not actually ready to pack any orders yet because I have some time for production, but I do want to show you how one box would look like. Today is my official shop launch day. I'm launching in less than an hour. I'll be launching in exactly 52 minutes. So I'm excited. I'm nervous because I feel like nobody's gonna buy my stuff. As long as I get like one sale, I think I'm good. I'm opening up my shop right now. Oh my gosh, this site is live. My heart is pounding. I have 124 visitors right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! It, keeps, it keeps coming. It keeps coming. It keeps coming. It keeps coming. Oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe it. I like shaking. I cannot. I have 50 orders so far and it's only been 10 minutes since I opened up the shop. Oh my god! I can't believe it. We sold out in an hour. I'm honestly at a loss for words. Crazy to think that I honestly started ceramics on a whim. Literally the night before my first class, I just decided I needed to add some structure and routine into my life because honestly i've been struggling with like a little bit of depression the past year so that was kind of like a hail mary moment of like i just need to freaking do something i had no idea it would kind of turn into this launching a ceramic shop is something I had never thought of doing or even considered doing. But when I just started having a lot of fun with it and when people started really liking my little tin fish, I was like, maybe this could be something. So yeah, I, to, to think that I already sold out in the first hour is absolutely insane to me. And I'm just so grateful because it's more so the hope for, you know, whatever the future holds because I've been feeling very hopeless for a long time, so I think. <laughs>